Toronto, Ontario, incorporated as a city in 1834, population 2,731,571, 2016 c, 2,615,060, 2011 c. As Ontario's capital city, Toronto has a vibrant history of change and growth ranging from its early occupation over 1,000 years ago to its current status as North America's fourth largest city. Toronto is Canada's largest municipality and is made up of the former cities of Toronto, North York, Scarborough, York and Etobicoke, and the former borough of East York. The city is home to a large immigrant population, and is a national and international hub for finance, communications and cultural life settlement. Approximately 12,500 years ago the Laurentide Ice Sheet, a continental glacier that covered northeastern North America, retreated from the area of present-day Toronto. Soon afterwards small groups of indigenous people moved into the area to hunt animals such as caribou. Around 5,000 years ago, settlements in hunting territories began to form, and people congregated in large spring or summer gatherings at the mouths of rivers to fish, trade and bury their dead. By 500s the population of southern Ontario had reached 10,000, and was made up mostly of Algonquian-speaking peoples. The introduction of maize, or corn, 1,400 years ago led to the adoption of farming and a permanent settlement. By 1,000 Siaquoyan-speaking peoples had moved into the region of present-day Toronto, and by 1,300 had established villages there. By 1,400 Iaquoyan peoples lived in fortified villages that typically included longhouses and stockades that overlooked fields of crops. For a variety of reasons, including better soil and warfare with the Haudenosaunee, Five Nations Iroquois, of New York State, Iroquoians in the Toronto area began to slowly move north to join the Wendat, Huron, Confederacy in Huronia. In 1650 inter-tribal warfare and the diseases brought by Europeans led to the collapse and dispersal of the Wendat Confederacy. The Haudenosaunee established a series of settlements in Ontario, including two Seneca villages in present-day Toronto. Around this time Algonquian speakers began to move south from the Canadian Shield into the Toronto area. Through a process of negotiation the Algonquian-speaking Anishinaab entered into an alliance with the Haudenosaunee. The Anishinaab established settlements in Toronto while the Haudenosaunee withdrew to New York State. Some members of the Anishinaabe became known as the Mississauga, and dominated the area until the end of the 1700s. The name Toronto is derived from the Mohawk word Caronto, which means where there are trees standing in the water. The word originally referred to the Narrows, near present-day Oralia, where Hurons and other groups drove stakes into the water to create fish weirs. French maps from the 1680s to 1760s identify present-day Lake Simcoe as Lac de Toronto. The spelling changed to Toronto during the 18th century, and the term gradually came to refer to a large region that included the location of the present-day city of Toronto. At some point between 7,000 and 2,000 years ago, Indigenous peoples discovered an overland shortcut between Lake Ontario and Georgian Bay. Later known as the Toronto Passage, this trail was an important north-south route for both indigenous peoples and Europeans. European Settlement French fur traders had known all about the Toronto Passage since the early 1600s, and in 1720 they built a small store on the Humber River. This post failed financially and was abandoned in 1730. In 1750 the French built another small trading post. Fort Truil, or Fort Toronto, located in Toronto's present-day exhibition grounds, was burned in 1759 by its French garrison during a retreat from British forces. 